Hi dearest, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this lovely purple crinoline fascinator. Another creation inspired by the last one I put up yesterday. Have you watched it? If you haven't, please do check it out. I'll put the link below. Here are the items we'll be needing. Uhu gum, your 0.2 inch Alice band, your scissors, your crinoline your flowers pieces of flowers with the leaves also then your needle and thread don't forget your measurement tape okay so the first thing i did was to cut off the edges of the crinoline now this is your seven inch width crinoline and i'm going to be measuring nine inches okay so that's what i'm going to be cutting it at nine inches Next thing you want to do is fold it like so. That's forming a loop. If you've watched our video on some other ones, you know how to form this loop. Or if you have attended Crinoline Masters class, now this will be a stone throw for you. Okay, so now I'm stitching it like so. Keep watching and learning. <music> Once I was done, I wanted a bigger one that would be a little bit bigger than that. So I just made one and I used the previous one I did to size it. After I did that, I took out my measurement tape and I measured it and it arrived at 14 inches. So that means you can cut at 14 inches in the day to make that big one. So what I finally did was I did two pieces of the 9 inch and two pieces of the 14 inch so we do the same thing as we did last one but this time around i'm going to pop it up a bit to move up the crinoline one side sticking up i also did that for one of the small ones keep watching and learning once that done i took the big one and put it the small one on top in the direction as you can see then I sew that together. After I did that, I took my Alice band and I sewed that combination to the Alice band. Keep watching and learning. Take note this alice band is a little bit different from the previous one of yesterday in that the um, material wasn't um sewn how they put it across it it was wrapped around it it's more like a ribbon that was wrapped around it so this one is quite difficult to sew but you still take the material from the alice band and sew it so the next thing i did was to take the other um 14 inches now this time around i turned it in a different direction look at the screen so you see how I turned it and I sewed it to the Alice band. Once that was done, I took the smaller one, the 9 inch, and placed it on top making sure that the inner part puffed up like i showed you i did for that 14 inch and i sewed it also to the top of the crinoline on top of the alice band if you're gaining value from this video so far please do give me a thumbs up and proceed further to click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and the bell so you get notified when i put up new videos After that was done, I took those rose flower you saw. Those are the two in one flowers, normally come with leaves. So I sewed it to the uh, mid point, middle point to cover up the joinings there. And what I did when I was sewing is that I opened up the petals of the flower so that it would pass through it and not be visible. And that's how I sewed it, making sure that the two ends of the flower are stuck firmly to the crinoline then i did the date with the second one like so keep watching and learning that 
I took those leaves. I'm wondering what, what do you think I used those leaves for? What I did was I used it to cover up the sewing, the crinoline sewing and form another pattern at the side. And it also, I flapped it also at the back to cover. So it covered every sewing everywhere and formed a nice pattern. <music> other leaf and I glued it on a part of the leaves that wasn't appearing well and that's how I made this pretty gorgeous Purple crinoline fascinator. Do let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you want to know how to manipulate fascinators and come out with lovely, beautiful designs? You want to join Crinoline Masters class. And starting from today till 3rd of July, you can have it for half price. Contact me first. And also check out this next video on another crinoline fascinator.